sure. You know how that is. Can you see this? Yes, that's what scared me when I turned it on. Oh, see what? Oh, I see. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, empty. <laughs> that's probably the only time it's going to be that empty. <laughs> Hi, Janice. We're just refrigerate, refrigerator shopping. And then the front opens like this. So I can just get my drink. Wow. Yeah. Sucks. <laughs> Someone has a new refrigerator. Not by choice. Yay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm here. Hey Lana, like Donna. Hey Sherry. Hey while. Janice. Happy. Hey Lucy. Hey Kathy D. Yay. Hey Roseanne. Hey Janice. No, because my refrigerator died on Friday and my warranty goes into effect Saturday. <laughs> I told you you should have just roughed it. Oh well. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, actually, because I didn't want to have to deal with ice coolers and all of that stuff. Yeah. I bought a refrigerator that's about as tall as you with a free <laughs> top. Is it going in the refrigerator in the in the garage now? Well, it's in the dining room right now with all the food in it. <laughs> I told Betty, I said that's the epitome of laziness. <laughs> hey Linda. Oh, uh, Kathy, are you home? Where are you? We, we need to know. I hope you're home. I think last week you said next week. And hey, what do I know? Hey, Artie Dar. My name is Artie Dar. Linda's out to supper. Cool. Excellent. Oh, I've been rushing all day, guys. I just, you know, I got to breathe for a second. <laughs> I got to breathe for a second. I know. I That's thought it was today. Up. So, because it doesn't take a lot of like brain effort, I just figure I'm going to fill fill these up with little the leftover little things I can find and put some little. You know, just here and there, something. Linda's Linda's at their favorite Mexican restaurant. I think she's just actually there trying to figure out how she can snag one of those pieces of plastic, the dangly things. I told yes. you, you can, I told her that she can get those on Amazon. We went to eat Mexican yesterday. <clears throat> Kathy said, "I have returned home, not very mobile yet, and still have a lot of healing to do, but elated to be home." Oh, that is Yay. so good to hear. Pretty little bluebird. Little oh, bluebird. Pretty little bluebird. Yep, I drugged Betty out to eat Mexican food yesterday. So, what's your favorite at that restaurant? Um, I had um, an assortment because there's things that I get to come home, and there's things that I will only eat there if it's fresh. So um, I had um. I had, um, what do you call it? Um, um, yeah. It's like quesadillas and an enchilada and, uh, and, uh, what is that? Nachos. Mm hmm. Can you see? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Oh yeah. This yeah. Too big. It doesn't fit anywhere. So Betty got nachos too, because that you can you can't bring nachos home, you know. I have. You stick them in the oven. No, because all your chips are soggy and plus you can't you can't you know you can what we do is we eat all the freaking chips I do, all the chips and dips until I'm almost just 
about ready to throw up. And then I eat my food. Well, then you should order something you can take home. Instead of nachos. Yeah, that's true. Poo-poo platter. That's Chinese. <laughs> Kathy said she's making it on her own. Did you ask her that if she was home alone? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I asked. I know for sure I asked if she was home. I don't remember the alone part. <laughs> Oh, you scared me. I didn't see you standing back there. In the <laughs> I'm creeping. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Elvis. Uh, <laughs> you guys cracked me up. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, you're live. So, who? You. Just now? Yep. Oh, my goodness. See, I hate uh, pages like this because they're pretty on both sides. And it's kind of kind of um weak i don't think i can do it to you know i think it'll tear if i try to make it just you know flip around so i would keep the dress on the right on the front and the dress on the left in the back oh dear well I hey think gail i'm going to do I'm just going to. Just no, the other side. The other put side. a little blue thing in the jigger up on top, and then just let it. Take. Yeah, that side. Yeah. Uh, so I'm. That's all I'm going to do. And you know what? I ordered some glue, and it hasn't come. Do you know I used my glue the other day, like you have in your hand? Yeah. And it was like thin water. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Well, I mean, it hadn't been used in a long time. So what color is this? So if I get, oh, I don't think I have any. Let me see if I have anything left of that. Oh, I do. I started the cover to my glue book. Ooh. And... And did you like it? Well, I only glued your Tyvek envelope onto it. Okay. And now I'm trying to get the stuff for the cover. But I got to figure out how to, how to do it. Uh-oh. You mean like your basic design? How are you going to do it? Yeah, that's, that's what my... See, that's what my thing is. See what my, on the screen? Yeah. See, it says, cover. It says coming soon. Oh. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay, so I think I'll just glue that, put that on there. Because, see, I can't do it this way because I think it'll tear. Oh, I know what I can do. Yeah, your 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 uh, what you want on the front may not work. I think I could put her on a hinge. That's what I need to do. But it'll have to be this way because I have to use the big part so I don't cover her up. Ah, <gasps> that's what I'll do. What color is this? Okay, I need to use that color of paper. <gasps> oh, sorry about that. It's gonna have to be a little different. Let me find something that I can do a little hinge with. Yeah, I know. I know that art glitter glue separates. It freezes, so that might be why, because it's like really watery thin. I know they won't um, ship it. Yeah, have you and had that since your freeze? Yeah. Well then, hello. What? But I didn't have it sitting out in the yard. You had it in the house. It was freezing in the house. Oh Lord. Oh, yeah, that freeze, too. Yeah. Yeah, so what do you expect? Mine's okay. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using mine. <laughs> Whatever. 
Okay, so I think I'll do that and then I'll do that. I know you saw my joke I sent you a while ago and you didn't even, I, and you opened it immediately and you didn't even acknowledge it. What? What are you talking about now? Whatever. I did not see no joke. No joke at all. When? Oh, no, it wasn't a joke. The last thing I saw from you was the name of the of the insurance company. Um, yeah. No, I sent you a picture. When? A while ago. Well, I haven't opened it. Look. Huh? Uh, how do I get it clear? Oh, no. Oh, Steve. I didn't see that. The filming of season three of Only Murders in the Building has begun. And look, it's got Meryl Streep, oh. and it's got Paul Rudd. Oh. Man, everybody wants to be a part of it. Yep. How cute is that? Okay, I have to glue this together, too. Right. But how long is it going to take them um, to get it? You know, I need more than four episodes this time. Yeah. Because last... Yeah, you know, with Meryl Streep and a Gale, it's just gonna just be over the top. And I really upset people. I don't have any glue sticks. It didn't come in the mail. No, oh, no. Hey, Anne. So I'm stuck. Anne. So I'm stuck with this stuff. Yippee! Elvis says. <laughs> Everybody's waiting, huh? So what are you doing? I was just going to say, don't even ask what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm winging it. I have no idea. I'm trying to make a little hinge so I can put that on the page so it can just go flippy floppy. So that's pretty much what I'm trying. Gail's got to go tell her hubby because he's a big Merrill fan. Oh, cool. Merrill Street or Merrill Haggard? Yeah. Big difference. Okay, so that's a Merle Jr. That and that's gonna go like man, we had ninety percent wow. chance of rain all day long. And did it did it arrive? Never. <laughs> and I was freaking out because they said that my delivery was between ten thirty and two thirty. Mm -hmm. And of course they showed up at two and the cloud started. I got a text that says you're the next stop. And the cloud started gathering and I was like, Oh God, please, <laughs> please, please. But it never did rain. Yay. It rained to the North of us. It rained to the South of us, the East, the West, but it just kind of broke in two lines and mm -hmm. said, you, you you go ahead and get your business taken care of with that refrigerator and we'll catch you on another day. I said, okay. <laughs> okay, that's how I'm going to put her. So I'm going to just glue that and that way you can see both sides of her and hopefully it won't put enough um, too much pressure on it because it's kind of fragile. So now mm -hmm. on my on my iPhone when I'm watching lives, I can't flip between top chat and live chat. How come? I don't know. It started on Wednesday and Oh yeah, because you have an iPhone. Mine doesn't do that. But when I click on the little lines there where it, it flips it, I get like this this light gray arrow that points up to the thing, but huh. it won't let me do nothing. I think it's because I went in and messed with my my YouTube channel. Oh, were you trying to like change the name? <laughs> no, I was um I was putting it to where 
Because, you know, now if you do lives, when somebody pulls up your page, all they see is videos from like years ago. Yeah, that's been like that for a long time. Right. But you can go in and you can change it to where it puts your lives up there. What do you mean? Yeah, I'll show you later. You can, but you can change it. If you do shorts, you can put your shorts up there. If you do videos or if well, right you do lives. now, it gives you the option to click on any of those on people's. Is that what you're talking about? Because if I go to mine right now or you go to mine right now, it'll say videos, live, blah, blah. It has like four or five options up there. And you right. But it puts it puts five. It puts five videos, your last five lives up there. Oh, okay. Like across the bottom, so they uh -huh. can just click on whichever oh. one without having to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jana. So it's not just me. Yeah, I don't know, Lucy. Mine happened on Wednesday. Linda says she can on her phone, but not her iPad. Oh, Lucy, I saw your your um, journal you made. I made one of those, and I went crazy looking for it today. I know I showed you guys when I made it, but now I don't know. I have a clue where it is. It's either at Jennifer Jane's or Leslie Casey's. <laughs> I don't think I sold it. I didn't put it up for sale. I don't think. I don't. Who knows? Who knows? But I could not find it. I was looking for it, and I go, oh, 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 oh. Couldn't find it. Could not find it. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tamar. Hey, Tamar. Oh, well, that that's where it happened at, Ann. So maybe it's her fault. Who? Dee Dee's. Oh. Oh, I was going to tell you, Ann, um, when we went to the Mexican food restaurant yesterday, we passed by the Lego store and they're having a big sale. <gasps> I mean, people were lined up for blocks. You sure it wasn't a new release of something? No, they, they, were, lined lined up, they were lined up for blocks. Mm. <laughs> I was busy concentrating <laughs> on my glow. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know why I fall for these. All Let me Arkansas it for you. There's a big old sale down at the Lego <laughs> store and people are lined up for blocks. <laughs> Joke, Ann. <laughs> you got to go back and listen one more time to what she said. Oh, maybe if I put it that. Oh, this will work. Uh oh, Elvis said her son got her on that one the other day. <laughs> Very cool. I'll cut that part off because it's just, it's just hanging. Oh, but it'll cut that off. That's okay. I don't like it hanging just like that. Well, wait a minute. Maybe if I put something cute on top, it won't look so bad just sitting there. It won't always be a joke, though, Gail. I don't have 
have too much left. That's not this. That'll make it too heavy, probably. Yeah, it makes it too heavy. So, I need to do it. Like, if I put it right there, that'll work. That Man, work? I don't know about this variety magazine. It must come every week. <laughs> but what's nice is it, it's like the size, you know, that, that magazine W, how big it is, how tall? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. So I'm thinking I need to turn one into a glue book. That's a pretty good size for that. Um, Lucy said, Rosemary, was your book based on the same person I found the tutorial on, or did you manage it from seeing an old man manuscript? Um, I, I didn't go, I didn't click on your link to who inspired you. And you know me, I don't remember names. So, but I did see it on a video. And for some reason, I guess it's just my, the way I, my brain works. It was very confusing how she, I, I'm, I'm just amazed I made it because I was very confused by what she was doing and saying. To tell you the truth, it took me quite a while. <laughs> I was like, oh, I gave up a couple of times. I go, I can't do this. Kind of gave me a headache because it was like too many. I wasn't sure if it was, if I was doing it right or if it was my dyslexia. That I was doing that, but then I thought, well, you are doing everything kind of upside down and backwards like four times. That was giving me a headache. <laughs> I was glad when it was done. And I was glad I was actually able to do it. I don't know if I do another one, but <laughs> I'd have to be in a masochistic mood, I think. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> next time I make it. <laughs> I think that needs a little bit of something. I don't know what. A little something, something. Hmm. Maybe some of the ribbon. Some of the ribbon we did with that dye. Yeah. I like the way the top of that page is written in blue. Mm hmm Okay, so I'm going to put, I guess I'd better do it with a fabric tag. Oh, did you see that um, video Stephanie Oni put out? Yes, I was so like, oh my gosh. I couldn't even, I didn't even finish watching it. Ah. <sighs> That was, yeah, a little gut-wrenching. I didn't know she had moved to Virginia. Yeah, I knew she was there. I knew she was with her sister. She had done that in a video a couple, about a year ago. I knew she was having health issues. And then I knew she hadn't put out any videos. And I thought, you know, between COVID and her health, I thought, oh, dear, maybe, you know, maybe something really drastic happened. So, obviously, it was good to see she's alive and, I was going to say alive and well, but she's alive and hopefully getting better. Okay, so that kind of gives it a little more stability right there where it's connected. Lucy said hers took her a while, too. She's not sure she will make another one either, but she can say, I made me. Yeah, that's right. I wish I could be able to say that. I don't know where the heck it is. <laughs> Do you remember mm -hmm. me showing it, Susan? I don't even know what y'all are talking about. Okay, it's a book I made, and it was, you know, longer this way than it was this way. And it opens this way, and it opens this way, and then you flip it this way, it opens this way, it opens this way. Oh, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. That way, and you go like this, and it opens this way. Yeah. Remember I did that? I don't know where the heck it is. I honestly do not know. It's on the shelf behind you. <laughs> I looked. <laughs> it's not. I thought, oh, maybe it's back there. No. With all the colored glue books. 
Yeah, that's what I was hoping, but no. Oh my gosh, that's the first glass of homemade tea I've had since Wednesday. I mean, Friday last week. How come? Because my refrigerator died. But, but and I make it in a gallon bucket and this refrigerator that I bought after I had to pile everything from a full size refrigerator into a four foot tall refrigerator. Hey Elisa, does it have trees on it? What? Elisa says she has it. Does it have trees on it? No. Elisa Rosemary sent you my you sent you the book you got, Betty. I was all ready to start putting recipes. I know. I did the boo boo. A tree on it. You know, I, I'm not even going to say that it has. Okay. The answer is, I don't remember <laughs> if it has a tree on it or not. Well, she has it. Isn't that horrible? She does? Mm -hmm. And there's a tree on it? See? Oh, my goodness. You know, if, if 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 I had to prove who I was by them asking me some simple questions, I couldn't prove it was me because I don't remember that thing. Hey, APJ. <laughs> remember that book you made? With the, uh, no, I don't think that was me. <laughs> Are you all better now? Uh, Let me give you the cooties. Oh, yeah. And then you had a happy birthday. Well, was it happy? Oh, yeah, I can put some of these little strips that came from. Yeah. Good, good, good. Even though they're on the green side. Yeah, she sent you Betty's book. Now, see, oh, these are the tangerine. Oh. I'll put those in the green book just because they're green. I want you to know I am sticking my toes through threads and strings on my canthas. <laughs> Again, is there something you want me to do about that? Yeah, I want you to order more canthas. <laughs> How many? Take a take a vote there. How many are ready for new canthas? So I'll know how many to order. I'm horrible. <laughs> okay, these were cut off of something. I don't know what, but they're kind of cool looking. I don't know what I did. But I just kind of sort of like how they look. I think I'll just glue some in there. What the hay? What the hay? What the hay? That's why you save all these stupid things. Use them. Don't just look at them. That's right. What is it? You're, I just got through saying. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. But hey. I guess it's from a die cut, huh? Yeah, I think so. But I can't even tell you from what. But it works. Yeah, I think it looks kind of cute. Looks like a door entry. Yeah. You need to push the right bottom side down, though. I think I made the mistake. It's like a double look. <laughs> Uh, so I better glue that down. It must have come from an envelope or something. That's what it looks like now. We went to, to Los Cucos yesterday, Elisa. Thought about you. Oh, yeah. See? You can sell me one, Roseanne. I missed that. You can't have no pink on it. <laughs> yeah, no pinks. The naked lady I have to keep for the summertime because she's she don't have much stuffing in her.
They come pretty quick when I order them. It about, takes about a week. Yeah, I can't eat Mexican fish, though, at least I'm allergic. Okay, so I'm already have been working. I'll show it to you guys in a bit. The prototype for next month, I've been very busy. Working wow. On it. And I think it's, I don't know, you know me. I think everything is kind of cute. And if you guys don't agree, well, you know, what can I say? But I think it's kind of cool. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go about with the tutorials because it has taken me a long time to make it. So, and I do not, as you already know, I don't want to spend the whole month doing it. So, I might, what I should have done, well, I couldn't have filmed what I did because, you know, when you're doing it, the prototype, it's just a hit and miss and it's like just totally chaotic. So, it wouldn't have been beneficial even if I had filmed it. You'd go like, what? What is she doing? What is she talking about? Because I didn't even know what I was doing or what I was talking about. So. Ah! so I'm sure you wouldn't have either. So I'm thinking I might have to film it uh, and, uh, and then just, you know, give you a link. What does that mean, APG? She said, oh, my God, tried to Facebook that Rosemary. Tried to Facebook. That Rosemary was one and Facebook locked me out. Oh, man. I got locked. I'm still locked out of my group. Fortunately, somebody has stepped up. My other group. My, yeah, my other group stepped up and she's going to do my uh, flowish. Um, uh, yeah, for me because they're clamoring over there and I. It won't let, I can comment sometimes, but most of the time it won't even let me comment over there. And then if I try to, it's really weird. I It'll let me type out a bunch of stuff, like if I'm going to start the swap. And then right before I'm almost going to, you know, click it, or maybe it is when I, sometimes when I do click it, this this little window will pop up and basically tell me, that for whatever reasons I'm non-compliant with blah 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 blah, and they won't let me do it. Then other times it'll pop up that I'm trying to sell something, and there's nothing remotely that I'm putting there that I'm trying to sell something, and oh, it's just a mess. It's a mess, and it's only with that one group. So anyway, fortunately. I won't have to worry about that for next month. That's crazy. Yeah. He had steak at a Mexican restaurant. Was it a flat iron steak or something? She said Facebook locked her out, but she's back in. She was sharing the link that Rosemary was on. Mm. Well, it doesn't lock me out. It just won't let me post in my own group it is just the weirdest thing it is just too weird too weird for words so i haven't done one of the swaps that they like in like at least two months maybe three so they're having a, a tizzy conniption. <laughs> yeah conniption. <laughs> yeah because they're like midnight on the first is she gonna do a swap <laughs> oh steak in a mole sauce mm. <sighs> well i shouldn't take because mm, not everybody's mole is good hey jennifer hey jennifer it was, uh, steak a la mole mm, i guess 
Yeah, Ooh, Leslie it. is on her last day of being in Facebook jail for saying breast. <laughs> hey, maybe they don't let me post because I say swap and they think I'm talking about something else. Hey, maybe that's what it is. I got some kind of a pervert group swapping. Maybe you need to tell them that you need to give it a new name. <laughs> Call it a switch around or something. <laughs> a do -si do Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you mine if you give me yours. No, oh dear. Pre love bluebird. <laughs> Janice said, just don't say reach around. <laughs> and Gail said, but other groups use that term. I know. They've got something against me. Yeah, I think. Well, so. a couple of years ago, I can't remember how long now, I had a, a run in with one of the ladies in my group. And because she basically was ripping people off is what she was doing. And she was lying about it. And, and she was arguing about it. So I kicked her out of the group. And when I kicked her out of the group, um, she complained to Facebook about my content just to get me in trouble. And I got completely kicked out of my group. Completely. And they wouldn't let me back in no matter what I did or said. I had to create a whole new Facebook account and then have one of my moderators um, let me back in. Because I, I couldn't even, I was, I was gone. I was People not, need to grow up. It's freaking cut up paper scraps. Well, you know, you got to figure it's a mindset. You know, just for the fact what you just said. It's paper. And they want to rip people off I of know. paper. I know. So you know how petty they have to be to want to lie and cheat to get pieces of paper oh my gosh maybe you just need to say teddy leslie <laughs> you should have disputed it Okay, let me see what else I have. Hey, Riri. Yeah, maybe you can say trade. Well, I'm going to see what they let her say. Because like, like they say, you know, they say it in other groups. So I'm just, just going to do it like normal and see what happens. I said, you take a chance. <laughs> you might get thrown out of the group. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of these on there. Let me put this. Get the scraps together, Rosemary. Get the scraps together. Don't make a bigger mess than you've already got. So yeah, that was uh that was pretty pretty goofy. Oh, you only got two days in jail. You're all right. Roseanne said it's cutthroat out there in the paper cut and paste world. <laughs> Person turquoise waving. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't either. Maybe she was trying to get a meme to come up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. Ooh, I'm going to put that one in my game. Hey, Adria. That'll be pretty. I know. Egg, our new Microsoft upgrade. Now, when you're typing in your email, it thinks it knows what sentence you're going to say. So you can push space bar and go to the end of the sentence if that's what you want. Oh, my goodness. I was afraid to do my upgrade. Because something only always weird happens when you upgrade, you know. 
so Egbert sent me an email and I answered him yes. Well, <laughs> I answered yes and hit send and it said yesterday's. <laughs> I replied back again. I said, I'm sorry. This new <laughs> outlook thinks that's what I wanted to say, and I didn't. Oh, did it show up, Popo? Popo, it did show up. You just can't see them. No, I see the word. Person slash turquoise slash waving. Yeah, that's what I see. Yeah, that's what I see. Maybe it looks different over in... Um, maybe that's nope. just... They got the meme. Huh. No. Those ballerinas are not trying to give you PTSD. What? Adria. Hey, Francine. <laughs> Francine says, new to your channel, Rosemary. Glad to be here. Here's an idea for your Facebook group. Yes. Make a backup group. If you get kicked out or shut down, you're covered. Of this. Oh. 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 That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I don't even like dealing with one group. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. Probably something I should implement. Yeah, or else you need to have somebody in there that can let you back in. Yeah. I need to put you in there to let me back in. I thought I did, but I did it with the other group. Adri is a retired professional ballerina. Francine said it's just in the background. See, I don't... I mean, I hear she, what she is saying. not tech savvy. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, Francie, you're like way above my level of um, understanding. <laughs> way above my level. <laughs> I would probably get into more trouble trying to do something in the background, backing up. Then I'd have to have like you know the the backup sign. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> no, Artie Dar, you are not booted. Why would you think you're booted? Did booted. you say something I missed? Ooh, that looks kind of cool right there, guys. Look. Aw. Maybe something like that. I have no oh, idea. Oh, Francine said you don't have to use it. You just tell your members to join. She's just an old nerd. <laughs> well, that's how we learn. I mean, because I'm like, yeah. Hey, Donna, I'm, like Alana. I'm not that tech savvy. It's a miracle I can do what I do. I don't even know how I opened an Etsy shop all by myself. <laughs> and run it. And run it. <laughs> and do my taxes. <laughs> Woohoo. It's on my mind. It's already January. <laughs> I'm just waiting for paperwork to arrive from other stuff. And I'm set to go. I've already done all my stuff. I'm ready. No, Artie Dar, you are not booted here. People were having issues like that, though, um, Artie Dar. I saw when I was trying to find out what my issue was, that there were things not showing up in chat. Yeah, what Adria said. Maybe you're a vampire. <laughs> this is a cute little. It's just it's just plain cute. That needs to go right there, and I'll just put that little clip or something. You need some some free stuff floating around. Yeah, APG. I can't switch between live chat and top chat. So, Francine, how did you find us? Do we know you from other places? Certainly not your algorithms. <laughs> <sighs> maybe because APG makes us put our thumbs up. Oh, maybe. 
Yep. Thank you, Janie. I think I'll put that up there later with a little clip because I don't know where my little... Oh, here they are. Hello. I didn't know they were right here. I'm going back through that cycle of where Facebook is suggesting a lot of old videos to me. Mm. Hey, Miss Bishy, boom, boom, boom. Hey, girl. Okay, I'm gonna put leave that there, and then yeah, see, see what? Adria's, uh, Gail's getting old ones. APG's getting old ones. They must just be cycling through the. Yeah, they're doing something. They're just trying to confuse us. It's confused everybody. I'm going to turn this into a little trifold. She said she's not sure. Probably a YouTuber you're friends with. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, remember you told me last week that, that Jessica had postponed her sale, right? Yeah, but she had it. Yeah, but then she had it. And two of my journals were there. <laughs> it was it was so weird to see old journals of mine from at least like three years ago, I guess. It was so weird. I think I... Stop by there when she was showing one, but I didn't stay long. Um, I, there was one. It was this is pre caboodle, so you know how long ago it was. Um, I did this one that was full of rusted metals and rusted fabric and paper and all this stuff. Oh, and Francine says she's been following Jessica for a while. Ask maybe where you. Okay, so Jessica and I are buddies. Okay, so that's probably how. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Were you at her sale Sunday? Was that Sunday? I don't remember. APG said, have y'all seen this new sport, Slap Fight? It's a real thing with rules and junk. No, I have not. <laughs> no. That sounds like girl fighting. It sounds like sissy boy fighting. Yeah. Get over here. I'm going to slap you silly. <laughs> I don't think so. Men and women are doing it. They slap each other. Oh, my gosh. Uh -uh. Is this a new, new game? I guess so. You want to play? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's on YouTube. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Donna. You might slap me once, but you won't ever do it again. <laughs> and we have hurricane drinks here, but we don't slap nobody. Oh, you know what? I've I've seen I did see a video where there was two girls standing at this table. Looked like they were gonna arm wrestle. But instead they, they stick them. their arm way out and then just knock the living crud out of this person. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Huh. And I mean some of them, some of those they slap hard. <laughs> I mean, they're slapping for, hey, Kellyanne. For yeah, it is stupid, but because I'm not going to just stand there and with my hands by my side and wait for you to slap me. So why would you be involved in the first place? Oh, there you go. Francine said she saw one of your journals in the auctions, so she looked for you and subscribed. Thank you. 
Oh, how sweet. Yeah, that was pretty freaky for me to see those. I hadn't seen those in a long time. So was she just tired of it or? No, there was this woman that collected from all types of artists. And I forget this, what happened, but she, she needed to, I, I, don't, I don't remember. I, I shouldn't say. So she wanted to find them all a new home. And she was talking with Jessica about it. And Jessica says, well, if you like, you can mail them all to me and I will sell them. She had, I don't know how many, I mean, oodles of them from all different journal artists. And it just happened she had two of mine. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah. So it was like, it was kind of freaky to see it. Look at APG. Francine gets a gold star. If there were a thing, she would get one. <laughs> Elisa bought several Kristen Moore journals. I don't know who that is. I didn't even get to watch it. I was I was busy doing stuff, and then I got a because I I forgot. I remembered, you know, when she was going to do it, and she canceled it, and then for whatever reason, I didn't get a notification about the rescheduling or even yeah live you know yeah and yeah. so i was minding my own business doing something and i get the message from jennifer and jennifer goes are you watching jessica right now she's selling one of your journals and, I'm, and i didn't see that till like an hour later <laughs> so by the time, jennifer oh and so by the time i saw jennifer's message the the sale was already over <laughs> So I went back and she told me the timestamp of where mine were. So I went to go see them. And I go, oh, that's when I got like, oh my goodness, I hadn't seen these in ages. It was funny. Okay, so I'll put some little papers in this and make this a little something. And I think I'll make I'll make a pocket out of that fabric that we dyed. Francine got outbid by you know who. <laughs> you you know our pain then. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. You don't it get doesn't a matter where you Lisa's. go. You better get ready for that. That's right. <sighs> okay, so I'll put little papers in there and put that in there. Somewhere. Somewhere. And then I'll just cut out a couple of these postcards and then I'll move on to the next color. Oh, what we'll do. Okay. After you do the shout out thing at eight, I'll show you the prototype for next month. You guys. Am I doing one? Uh huh? Oh, okay. At eight o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like this too. Hurry back, Janice. <laughs> She's going to have to show me that journal with the tree in the front. <laughs> I honestly don't remember no tree on the front, but hey. Is it a picture of a tree? Did I design a tree? I don't know. What does it look like? No wonder I couldn't find it. She has it. <laughs> That is so strange. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing, but it'd be nicer if I could remember this stuff. <laughs> she said she'll send me a picture later this week. Oh, I can send okay. you. Right. When she gets home. Oh. Okay, so this will go in there somewhere. I'm not sure where yet, but it'll go there.
maybe somewhere around here, somewhere around there. And then, hmm, I wonder if I can turn this into, what can I make out of this? I could like, oh, that might work. They'll be going the opposite direction now. Well, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, Elise is on the border with those that cannot be named. <laughs> be careful they don't stick you on a bus and deliver you to Kamala's house. She's oh, she's on the border. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I should have given on her the border of Texas and New Mexico, uh, Texas and Mexico, Francine. I should have given her a list. I needed stuff. I need, I need some ten milligram the blue ones, Xanax, and. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't exactly what was going to be on. No, my that's a one milligram. One milligram is blue. Yeah. <laughs> You need to get some more of that, those pink flowers or whatever it is you did that paper with. That was pretty. Yeah, what did she use? I think hibiscus. No, oh. No, it wasn't. Was it hibiscus? I don't know. It might have been. I have hibiscus. She sent me some. Okay, there you go. Yeah, but you don't have the, the real grand water. Well. That's what made her so vibrant pink. So I'm getting ready to do the next um, natural dye. We're gonna, I'm going to do matter. So if you guys want to investigate what that looks like. Matter? M-A-D-D. -D. Is it E-R-A-R? -R? I think it's E-R. That will be for February. If all my ducks line up in the right order. <laughs> nice, Francine. Are you moving to Arizona? Or? We have somebody in here. And from Arizona. Yep. Rose Matter. Rose Matter. What? Yeah, Rose Matter. Oh, I need to set me a, a reminder. APG streaming tomorrow. Uh oh. Yeah, Francine loves using hibiscus and beet juice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so if you like those colors, look, this is, um, just so you can see, this was done with mulberry leaves. I'm on a kick of natural dyeing. So these were done with mulberry leaves. Uh, where's my little bag? This was, uh-oh. Oh, how'd I lose a bag? Well, I haven't moved the bag. <laughs> uh-oh. And then your yellow book there was made with marigolds. Yeah, all of this was dyed. All this stuff and these were all done with marigold. And oh, and this was done with the bark of uh, uh, what was this already? Oh, crepe myrtle. This is crepe myrtle bark that I did with this with. And what else have we done? Well, hello. Why don't I just whip out my diary? Ha! Oh, it's 8 o'clock. It's your show now. It's my show now. <laughs> I was waiting for you to finish talking. Shut up. I'm, I shut up. I know how to shut up. That's okay. So I have to say hey to Pinky and Jar and Annie Mame and Fern and Sally and Carol. And who else is not here? Yes, diary. Hey, Jamie. Francine said hibiscus will turn a bluish color on different fabrics. Yeah, she uses all the 
mordants and the accelerators and <laughs> hey 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 gal hey lucy adri said it's hey o'clock hey crafts bio hey girl hey Artie dar hey linda hey elvis hey janice hey leah hey sherry hey 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 jenny bitchy boom 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 hey ann hey lana like a donna and Donna like Alana. <laughs> uh, Francine Lucy says, where about in the Pacific Northwest are you? I am also in the Pacific Northwest, but in Canada. Uh-oh. Hey. Singing in the rain can't comment from her other account. We're all having issues. Hey, yeah. Shazzy Mac. Hey. Hey, Kathy D, if you're still out there. Yes, Kathy. Um, no, I don't think you're blocked. Leslie, um, Rosemary would have to go look in her thing and see, but no, nobody I don't here blocked you. Blocked. Uh -uh. Oh, that's uh, Leslie Mixed Media. What? Oh, Val skipping Bible study. No, it's really tomorrow. I don't have, um, hold on. I don't have anybody blocked. Let me look. Let me look. Where would I find that again? Go to your YouTube studio. Oh, YouTube. Oh, no. I don't have nobody blocked over there. I thought maybe accidentally over here. But no, I never go over there. So there's nobody blocked. Well, they would be blocked on your YouTube. Yeah. Well, I, I don't ever go over to YouTube ever. To But APG could have blocked her or Janice could have blocked her. <laughs> oh, let me go check then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are too funny. Okay. So I go over to where now I go to my channel. Yep. And go and to then, your you know where you found out who was um APG said not me, no ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Where you went to see who who was members of your club or who was members yeah, of your club? Yeah, but I wanted to see where I went because, you know, I did it once and then I forget what I do. I'll go to, well, where would I find a good good spot? My dashboard says what? Dashboard. Okay, I'm at the dashboard. Where would I look for blocked people? Let me see. APG does get blamed for everything. Let me go into <laughs> My YouTube studio. Okay. <laughs> um, YouTube studio. There's YouTube. YouTube music. YouTube TV. There's YouTube studio. I'm in YouTube studio right now. No, I know, but I'm not there. Yeah. YouTube studio. Okay, then you go to your... Um, Let's see, dashboard, edit channel, send feedback. Let's see if anybody stun us. I think you have to go to your Google account, Gail said. What? Are you set up in your Google account? Girl, I did this 10 years ago. I don't know what I'm set uh, up in. Let's see. <laughs> analytics. Um, okay, if you go to analytics. Yeah. And go to, nope. That's audience content. Trust me, if I can't find this, I haven't. Oh, well, somebody else got it back. Never mind. Somebody else could have done it. Um, yep, somebody else could have done it. Audience. I would have thought it would have been on their audience. Yeah, you would think. Lisa said, you probably blocked the lady you kicked out of the swap. <laughs> I myself have never blocked anyone from my channel. Oh, no, that's Leslie Casey. Huh? That's Leslie Casey. Yeah. I was thinking it was Leslie Mixed Media. No. That's, I thought that's not what I heard. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <sighs> no, I haven't blocked. Nobody would have blocked her. Nobody would have blocked anybody. I'm out of. Maybe she made me mad. Okay, let me. 
<laughs> go to settings. Oh, settings. There's a thing down here on the bottom. Then go to community. Okay. Community. It shows moderators. And then you'll see blocked. I see you now, Leslie. What? Thank you, Shauna. She's here. Oh, okay, but where? Do, so I know in the future, where does it have blocked people? Where would that even be? Um, settings, community, and then whenever you see like your subscribers. Well, that's not what's showing when I hit community. It ha it shows my moderators, and it should show your blocked. Ah. Uh. I must not have any blocked because nothing's showing up. It even says block. Oh, well, no, my. it'll it'll say because I um I was looking at mine the other day and I'm like, oh yeah, I did block that person. <laughs> but I mean, if you haven't blocked anybody, maybe nothing shows up because nothing shows up on my end. I have a section where I can type in blocked words. I yeah. don't have anything in there, and then I can do block links. I okay, she said. Go to community and scroll to hidden users. Because I've blocked a lot of people on your channel. I don't even see hidden users. I have a few approved users. But I don't see anything that says hidden users. Hold on. Oh. Okay, here it is. Okay, the only thing that shows up is when we have all those trolls. Yep. Those are all there. Yep. But nobody with like a real name. Okay. Well, she's back in here. A lot Thank of you for your help, Shauna. A lot of naked HD. <laughs> Remember, they show up all the time. Yeah. I think it's because Leslie said breast earlier and she got... YouTube kicked her out. <laughs> okay, I see all that. Yeah, there's no, like, real people. There's just... Yeah. Okay. At least I know where it is now. How do I get out of here? Close. Yay! Yeah, she, she found it, Shauna. It was... Um, but, but Leslie wasn't in there, and Leslie's here now. Yeah. So, I think... I think we're all okay. For now. <laughs> For now. Okay, so where do I begin? What was I going to do when you stopped? I can't remember. I don't know, but Val said once you use the D stash in a crafty chat, you're automatically blocked. Yeah, yeah. They, they started that when, like, whenever you say scissors and my box cutter and stuff like that, you were going to show <laughs> what you're doing next month. Oh, okay. We'll do that. Let me move some of this right now. Okay, so as I mentioned, I had been, I didn't realize I've been doing this like over a year. I've been slowly collecting um, ephemera that has to do with vintage trains. Anywhere from the late 1800 to like the 1940-ish. And, um, but I could not um, come up with. I think you also were going to show Francine your diary. Oh, France, is Francine still here? I don't know. She might have left after that big debacle of all the blocking. <laughs> Maybe we blocked her. <laughs> Let me put this in here. And this is going to go with this one. And these and this will go somehow maybe with this one. I'm not sure. And then I'll put this in my little envelope. Oh, she's still here. Good, good, good. Okie dokie. We'll show you what we've been up to. <laughs> I've never natural. I, I do a lot of eco printing. I love that. I've been doing that for about five, six years. And I love, love, love it. So then I thought, well, I'm very comfortable doing that. And I like to do something that makes me feel uncomfortable. So I thought natural dyeing. Let's do that. You did get loud, APG, but I don't, didn't say nothing. <laughs> she said, show us the upcoming kaboodly. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So we we put together um, a little book and we're calling it a die, D-Y-E, diary. And some of the ladies are doing the same things that I'm doing when we do it each month. And then some ladies just don't have the time or the inclination. So I put together little bundles of the stuff that I dyed that particular month with that particular whatever. And then they play with it. So this was the marigold. These were all of my marigolds. And we did this in September. Hey, Vicki. So I concentrated on fabrics for the first one. So that was the marigold one. Then most people have done avocados. And so we played around with the avocado with different fabrics. And also we did the spinach. So that's the spinach, and this is spinach with avocado, and then so then we did the uh, crepe myrtle, and then I started using um, the modifiers with it, and with the crepe myrtle, it didn't really change all that much, um, but the, the, test, the test strips you could really see the difference. This is the neutral one, and this was the baking soda, lemon, and vinegar. And then this was also done with the um, with the crepe myrtle. And when I say crepe myrtle, I'm using the bark in this particular instance. Then we did the um, maíz morado, which really moved a lot. And this is cotton. This is printer paper. This is mixed media. And this is what? Watercolor paper. And this was the neutral. This is the vinegar, lemon, baking soda, and soda ash. I use different, I'm using different things at different times. So that's that one. Then this was the red cabbage. And this one really kind of went, oh, the colors don't show up that good, but they're pretty dramatic. Um, this was the neutral vinegar, lemon, baking soda, and the soda ash. And you can really, I wish they would come out true, but they're not coming out true. Anyway, so that was that. And then we did the beet. And on this one, this is the neutral baking soda. I put alum in that one. <laughs> I put, a, I went a little kind of alcohol crazy on this one. Um, accidentally put ammonia in one of my little sample things. <laughs> That was not intentional. Yeah. Lemon and soda ash. But, you know, you can see how different all those came out. And then we did the black bean. And this was interesting. This is the uh, neutral baking soda, soda ash. And I threw alum. And that one came out pretty good. Did some eco printing with the, um, with the black beans. I haven't put the samples in here yet. But we did the pokeberry. <laughs> I don't have those samples in there yet. And then we did the um the mulberry leaves. And so this is this one was very strange because it hardly changed at all with the modifiers. There's a neutral, here's with the iron, soda ash, baking soda, and the vinegar. It was very weird how it really had little to no effect. Looks like it marbled at the bottom. Those are the papers. Mary oh, okay. put pieces of papers on there. Mm -hmm. And then these are just little cards with um that was dipped. And then these are pictures of mulberry leaves and uh and a mulberry tree. And now I did um synthetic. This is all natural cotton. And then I always throw in a little synthetic here and there to see how the colors work on it. Because technically they're not supposed to work, but you know, they do. APG yeah. said, wow, your book is just fancy. Mine's a wreck, but works for me mostly. <laughs> so um, so we're going to do matter for next month. And um, I've got, what do I have? I've got some of the papers that we did with the Maiz Morado. That's going to go in my junk, junk, junk journal. These are papers that were done with the Pokeberry. Um... These are some of the stuff that was done with the avocado. Avocado dyes. Avocado that stayed in the fridge too long. 
yeah and this is also avocado everything in here is either avocado or the um or the spinach apg said her pine cone stayed the same did it yeah it's weird how some of this stuff just doesn't it doesn't move at all anyway so that's that stuff and so then in addition to my little record keeping i'm doing a scrapbook with kind of like the leftover stuff and i'm going to systematically like you can see i haven't really done anything <laughs> oh because this is the um this is the black bean and this is all my stuff from the red cabbage and then this is the um avocado this here is the um spinach and the crepe myrtle i have to put all my leftovers in there this was done with the maize morado you can see all these leftovers that are there and you know vicky said sopreso nice nice simplemente muy bonito Gracias, Victoria. Okay, so. Francine said she wished she could show you what she did with strawberry tops. You could post it in the Facebook. Yeah. Group. Man, that would take a lot of, that's a, strawberry tops? Well, maybe she did the eco printing. I've done the eco printing with the strawberry tops. That comes out really cool. But I don't know if she created a dye with it. That would be like crazy good. Elisa uh, said, Francine, you can post it on Facebook, which I'm not a member. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you choose to be unsociable, Miss Christian. Yeah, and then there's some more cabbages. So all my, after I do my entries in here, then all my little leftover scraps are, are eventually going to end up in here. So that's the plan anyway. <laughs> and then after I've got it thick enough, then I'll um turn this into a journal okay so let me put this away and then i will show you guys what we're gonna do or what i think we're gonna do <laughs> oh this what was this one purple yeah that was the mice too right that was the purple purple corn Okay, so that's that. So now, moving on to next month, as far as the caboodle kits are concerned. Ugh. So I wanted to do a train thing, and I was playing around with this. This, this is not what we're going to do, but this is what I was playing around with. See, because it does, I don't like how it came out. But can you even tell that that is the front of a train? Like, this is that, that cattle thing, and here's this. Anyway, it didn't work out. In my, in my vision, it was going to look so cool, and it doesn't. <laughs> Vicky wants to know where you got the Morado corn. Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> it comes from Peru, though. That's where they grow it. Um, so, anyway, it did not work out. I did it. You know how we did with the metal tape and all that kind of stuff, and then we, I raised it up with the um, glue gun and, you know, we've done that before. So I thought it would look kind of cool, but uh, no, I like it. So, so then I was thinking, okay, okay, oh, I got to find out the link. Okay. Totally unrelated. There was this woman that made a little carry case for... I don't know what it was supposed to be for to tell you the truth. I don't even remember. But it was really foo-foo. It was pink. It was like um, not my style at all. But what she was constructing inspired me to do this. And once we get into it, I'll find her link so you can see um, how she const constructed hers. Because I'm sure she can explain it a lot better than I did. And then to a certain point, I followed what she did, and then I went off in my own direction after that. So she made a small little box. And so from there, I made this. So it's like a satchel or a travel 
a travel something, right? At least that's what I would call it. It has a little handle and it's got a little um, leather strip that comes across here. And then I did the Velcro because I didn't have like a, a cool looking hook or snap or whatever that I could use on there. So for now, like I said, this is the prototype. It's, um, it's just Velcroed. And then these are scraps of, you might recognize some of these. These are scraps of fabrics that I've used in the past. And I just had small pieces. So that's how that got done. And this up here is just a piece of cardboard. Well, I think it was really just um, cardstock. I doubled it and then put the fabric. And uh, this part here is the back side to a 12 by 12 scrapbook paper pad. So if you guys have any of those, grab it and put it in your stockpile for if you're gonna do this project, that's what this is. And then here is a uh, file folder and you open that up and here it has like the ticket stubs to the train and everything and here's a little um shipping um tag here is um some tables to the um train the train thank you and then i have some uh whoops and then i have some just original paperwork and train schedules and laden um billing stuff in there and then i have some books that have a whole bunch of information and I just glued that on there and so that would be some of the stuff that will be in the kit and that goes in there and then I just had another space to put this this is part of the the book I just glued the pages on there and then you know just some little scrap papers it's not decorated anything like that and so then that goes in there. And then the way I glued this onto here, there's a pocket back in here. That you can maybe hide something, your passport or something you don't want nobody to see. <laughs> and um, so then this, this thing is made out of a um, Cheerio box. So start saving your Cheerios box. And but you can make it any size you want that's what's going to be hard for the tutorial is that it's just going to depend on the size of box you have the size you decide you want to use if you got jumbo ones small ones whatever i i got a package today and the package was in a it's next door so i can't get it right now the it came in a priority box and the priority box was this size it's longer but you can always cut it so if you're getting any, you know, thing in the priority box in the next couple of weeks or so, save it because you can you can use it to make this. No, Jan, uh, APG, it has to be Cheerios. No fruit rounds. <laughs> so Elisa said, is this a fancy conductor bag? I thought it was a, a carpet bag or something. Um, I didn't know what to call it. All I know is I associate it with the train. So. It's going to be whatever you want it to be, however you make it. You can make it masculine. You can make it feminine. You know, it could be your little travel one or it could be, you know, the conductors. So then I started off. I have this is all this is, as far as I've gotten is I just took, you know, a book, recycled it again from that other book I have that has a bunch of stuff from railroads. I just glued all of it down in here. and glued it inside inside pages also i mean the covers and hey then, Devin. hey how you doing so and then i got i went to my pile of all of my grunge stuff and just pulled from there and um started you know put the signatures in then i started gluing some random um stuff that has to do with the railroad i had i did also got some stickers and once i got going you know most of the stuff that i have most of it is all for here in 
the states but you know you could make this european you know then i found some stickers that are all basically european well some south american also but Allie. i thought well you know you're maybe going cross country right now but in your journal you may have stuff that you've traveled in other places you know on your train that's all up to you guys but um but i have lots you're gonna most of what you're gonna get is original ephemera because i have a bunch of stuff for trains train travel and so you'll, most of what you get is going to be originals. It's generic fruit loops, Allie. <laughs> so, so you, what you guys need to do is uh, eat some Cheerios. Get yourself, you need to get yourself some Cheerios, or any kind of box that resembles a cereal box or save one of your priority boxes. Um, get the back of your paper pad and get a, rainy man. and a back of your paper pad that's important because um do i have it yeah hey pam because see the backs at least the back to this particular one see how flimsy it is yep. it's kind of flimsy and you need that so that it'll bend and uh and then you know you can put fabric on both i mean you put paper on both sides if you have some paper you want to use or like I did fabric so especially if you're going to put fabric you want it to be very pliable so go and check out the backs because I have some other backs that are a lot thicker and what it would do is it would it would um fold because it was too thick hey it Lisa would, it wouldn't roll is this PETA approved fabric on here yeah so where do i get this um <coughs> adventurous fabric from this fabric yeah I, this is all pieced together of scraps that i had does it come in the kit no <laughs> i don't have any more of these <laughs> well. these were scraps these are leftovers from our other kits mostly the um the Renaissance one and the Native American one and the African one. You can recognize them where they all came from. So what I do have, it won't be patched up like this. I do have some fabric. It's a black. It, it reminds me of this type of fabric. So I got to go make sure how much I have. And I'll include a piece of that in there. And if I can find any scraps of stuff, I'll throw the scraps in there too. But um, I don't have enough scraps for everybody to make this from scraps. But I do have a piece. Another thing that would look kind of cool is if you wanted to look a little more masculine or a little more rugged. Um, if you made it out of some kind of canvas and you dyed it or you sprayed it or you rested it or something. That would look really, really cool um so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing guys and girls is jar here <laughs> so um so yeah so you guys need to get the box you think you want to use and determine the height you think you're going to want it and so Devin says you don't you don't have a square to spare a square to spare <laughs> well sure i have a square to spare but you're not going to be able to make it with one square <laughs> um so anyway yeah so i wanted to do a run through to make sure that what i envisioned it that it would actually work and i think it works really really well and i envision you could put pockets here where you could put your pens and stuff like that and we could still put another like an accordion opening kind of thing that shuts you know similar similar to that that we could put in the back so you could have a lot more space for you know to stick in junk like we do i think that would work just fine any mame it's a cereal box with the side cut open and a piece of 
cardboard flipped over the top. It's not hard. No, it's not hard at all. Especially if you and it you won't be hard for you to buy it and put it on your shelf. <laughs> Anyone can get us. I mean, even if you don't eat cereal, find something that's cheap in a box that you can buy at the store. Rich crackers. Yeah, anything. Now the size of this, I'll show you, tell you the size of this one. But again, yours can be smaller. It can be bigger. The the construction it won't change. It won't change at all. But just to give you an idea, this one is eleven and three quarters. I know myself, Annie Mae. By eight. All right, and it is. Janice says, um, for a satchel, she has to have a shoulder strap, though. Oh, okay. Um, this is two and a half inches thick. So, see, right here, what you could do is you could put another little loop-de-loop -loop right here or a loop right here and then have your, your strap. You know how a lot of them have that little handle plus the strap. So, you could do both with something like that. Ta-da! Ta -da. Yeah. So that's it, guys. And I think it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. So I think what we're going to concentrate on, obviously, is the construction of this more so than the journal, because you guys all know how to make a journal. And um, so this will be like the focal point. And then depending how much time we have, then you know, I mean, because all, all you're doing is find a, an old book and glue some of those papers that I'm going to provide for you. And, you know, that that's that. <laughs> no, the leather is not in the kit. It will be. Oh, it will be. Yeah. Because I think that's what sets it off. Hey, Shelly, welcome. Yeah, I think I haven't seen kinda... you in forever. Shelly, 200,004. Hey, Miss Shelly. <laughs> my so, top, my live chat's back. Oh, what happened? How did that I don't happen? Think, I don't think this was. Did you sew that on your sewing machine? Nothing is sewed. That's another thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I did sew around this right here, but not the the top upholstery fabric. That was sewed. The patches were sewed by hand together. And then I just glued it on here. Okay. So I got my little pieces and I just did the um, blanket stitch and stitched them together. And yes, then, you glued her bits. Yeah. And then I had it like one big piece and then I glued it on here. And then this is tissue paper and this was just glued on there also. Nice. And then everything is just kind of kept together with these brads that go right through i'm going to cover these up but i left them like that so you could see before i cover it all up exactly how that construction is so you don't have to know how to do any sewing for this you just have to know how to glue <laughs> but if you want to sew you know you can like i did sew this just because I like the way sewing looks on stuff, but it doesn't have to be sewed at all. That's right, APG, even an old purse strap. Yeah, you can go down like thrift stores and get um, um, belts. I have a bunch of belts back there um, that I think would look really cool on here. Um, so anyway, so if you're going to do the project, look for the back of your scrapbook, 12 by 12. Because at least for this one, it was a perfect size. I just I just rounded off the end is all I did. It goes like that and like that. And then I round it off into a, you know, but you could leave it square if you want it. And, um, and your box. This, the box. What else did I say you need to look for? <laughs> already forgot I think that's it and if you're going to want to uh, make your journal find yourself you know 
go down to the dollar store and get one for a dollar twenty-five, and and then we'll cover it up with this paper. And there, and then there's plenty of room. There's room in here actually for two journals this size. Exactly. Another one fits right there, or you can you know do something else with it, but but there's room for two. Okay. Okay. Um. You have your glue gun right there? Me? Yeah. Somewhere. Why? Set it in the middle of your table. Why? Okay. Because there's an auction going on right now. <laughs> what, what are you doing? What are you talking about, Devin? A spare pair of underwear would fit. <laughs> fit what? <laughs> oh, she means in here. When you travel, you need to have spare underwear. Oh. <laughs> you a better hurry, to... Elisa. Uh, Val's getting that glue gun for seventeen twenty-two. <laughs> oh, oh, fit inside your. See, I wasn't listening. I was over here auctioning off a glue gun. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> oh my god. Rosemary's underwear is too tight and revealing. That's why I have to wear my own. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you're set if you have your little your little carrying case of art supply and underwear, you're set. Yeah, you're set. You can go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and your toothbrush, and you can put that in the side with your pen. Yeah, you can put that on the side. As long as it has a cap, you want it to be sanitary. Elvis said, if we're going to do the project, haha, -ha, what a silly thing to say, Rosemary. I want mine now. Love this idea. <laughs> yeah. So uh, in the next couple of days, I'm going to be getting all the ephemera together. I, I am going to provide some where I don't have them all printed out. I have some print outs. Where'd they go? Um, you know, like, like some of the stuff that I had in here. You'll get a couple of pages of those. But like I said, most of it is going to be um, um, real ephemera. Authentic. Yeah, authentic. And there'll be a couple of pictures. Like, um, I love the stations, the old stations where the trains came in. They were all so beautiful. Um, oh, wow, Annie Mae. And, you know, like some conductors and stuff. And you know, some ladies in the dining cars and those kinds of things. So there'll, there'll be a couple of pages of pictures like that. And um, what else? Um, as far as printouts. If you get the out. family size cereal, you can haul a couple of extra pair of socks, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> well, Annie Main said she had an artist friend visit and oops. An artist friend visit, and I and she said, "Let's hang a couple of paintings over the couch." The next thing, she rearranged my entire apartment, made two gallery walls, and it looks amazing now. But it was a mess for a few days. <laughs> That's cool. She didn't touch your books, did she? <laughs> that would be like, oh my gosh. Uh. Okay, so that's that, ladies. You guys have your assignment. I have my assignment to complete. You got yours to complete. And uh, I think it'll be. And I think what's kind of cool about it is you can adapt this, obviously, to any uh, style that you want. Uh-oh, right? Leslie, what happened? You're a YouTube user again. Well, all I know is all of us got our live chat back at the same time. Me and Linda and Lisa. This is weird. Is that? Riri said, wait, where's my assignment info? You need to get a cereal box. <laughs> the back to a paper pad. <laughs> Here we go. Riri's going to use hers for a, a Bible holder. 12 by 12. Um, it's okay, Leslie. We know who you are. 
um, scrap book paper back. <laughs> Soft if possible. <laughs> okay, 836, Leslie laughed three times. <gasps> and then at 839, she turned into a YouTube user. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let me let me go get. I have I have the unused. I don't. I'm not suggesting you use the unused. Oh, that's right, Riri, and a spare pair of undies. Okay. I know you guys. Unless you throw things away, if you keep things, I know you've got priority boxes because you all buy stuff. Now the priority box. And let me see how this works. Out. Don't do that. Don't don't get a new one. No, I'm not telling people. I'm telling you. Hey. I used. I got plenty of used ones. Okay, so just to give you an example, just to give you an example. So if you think of a cereal box, me neither, Allie. Not since last week. Now it works. Okay, so. I'm thinking a cereal box is about what this big right here, yeah. right? Yeah, she did. I, do you think? Yes. Do you well, want me to measure one? I've got every size. Oh yeah, I'll do that All because right, I think that would be like great right of the size of a cereal box. And if you look, that's what size this is, pretty much. You said Cheerios. Well, I just said that because I like Cheerios, but is that frosted Cheerios, honey nut Cheerios? <laughs> what which which one has a box close to now because this part right here is part of the box, the measurement goes all the way there. So which size did you have? I don't remember. Um, it's the mega. I ended up with a uh, nine and a half, nine and a half, nine and a half by eleven and a half. So you tell me, is that small, medium, or large? That must be like the mar large one. Hang on, because I have a mega. I don't think that I have a family size, a mega, and a regular. So it would be approximately ten by. The family size is seven and a half by 13. So that's not it. Well, I cut mine down so it could be, you know, um, so 10 by 11 and a half approximately is the size I have. But yours can, you know, you guys is going to be any size you want it to be. Regular Cheerios is 8 by 12. 8 by 12. See, that would work. It'd be a little smaller than mine, but it would work. That's the regular? If Francine has an oatmeal box, I don't think that'll work. An oatmeal box? Yeah. Oatmeal box? Yeah. You mean the round kind? No, a box. <laughs> I've never seen it in a box. I'm serious. You ever seen oatmeal in a box? No, never. Oh, like this. What? No. And see the front comes off and then it's a dispenser. Oh, how cute is that? I know Betty puts her ephemera in tags in these. Oh, instant pop. Oh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Thank you, Gail, for <laughs> clarifying that. <laughs> so, okay. So, I think, I mean, I don't think you need one any bigger than that because it'll get, like, way too big. So, you know, anything close to that, you know, a couple of inches here or there would be fine. So, just, just take your little ruler next time you go grocery shopping. If you don't already have any. Oh, she did mean the round kind. Oh. I forgot about the round kind. That's all I know. Oh, Bisquick. Okay, Bisquick boxes. Jamie says they're pretty sturdy. That's good to know. 
and um, what else? Kotex box. The box? It's sturdy? I don't know. I don't wear them. But I know my <laughs> mom always had a big blue one up in the cabinet. I'm gonna say, I think they come in like plastic bags or something now. I've never seen a box anymore. <laughs> Large minute rise. Hello. Oh, Donna. that's a good idea, yeah. Donna. That's a good one too. Um, and then uh like Ruby said, you know, if you if yours is kind of flimsy, but you know, you have two boxes the same size. You could um, basically cut the other one apart and put it in front, you know, double it, double your your box, and it'd be really, really sturdy. Yeah, so it just depends on how much stuff you want to. Yeah. And, you know, the more paper and stuff you put on top of it, or, or the, if you're going to paint it, whatever it is you're going to do, each one of those layers gets it sturdier and sturdier because you're going to be using glue and that'll sturdy things up. Um, what I thought would look really cool if it was, you know, get the regular box and then get the corrugated, is that what it's called? Corrugated cardboard and rip off that one layer and have it show and then glue it on top of your box. I think that would look super cool. I didn't have enough of that to do it or else I would have done it. But I thought that would be a really cool cover. And what else? Um, yeah, so, you know, you can make it rustic. You can make it whatever you want. You can make it look masculine. You could just even just cover it up with uh, um, grocery bags, you know, crumple it up and give it kind of that leather look. And just glue it on down. Yeah, that's you know. a good idea. Yeah. Or craft paper. Yeah, craft paper. You see, Timmy has all that new colored craft paper. He does? Yeah. Uh-oh. It's colored craft paper, so that way whenever you sand it, the color comes off. Like if you emboss it and then you sand it, the color comes off of the... Oh. Yeah. Very clever. I think you could do that if you painted it, too. Well, yeah, you can. Uh -huh. but... <laughs> Too bad Tide don't come in a box anymore. It doesn't? Those were good. No, they come in pods now. In a oh, they've reverted everything to that? I don't know, but I don't, I don't see washing powders in boxes like I used to. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Well, this uh, if you get that borax. Can I block? Um, Val, <laughs> why she's talking about craft core? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Elisa buys tied in a box. There you go. Go, Lisa. Okay, Arm and Hammer. Yeah, that one, that one's a pretty sturdy box, too. And that it will smell really good. good, make your yeah. undies stay fresh. And then we'll see. Yeah, you stick your undie in there, and you'll have the nice smelling ones. If you make it out of that. Um, so, yeah. So, clear as mud, you guys. You know what you need to do? Yep. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, not too much stuff. And, of course, we're going to need glue. Obviously, you got all those those you, you got all that already. I don't. I've got regular glue, but I ran out of my glue sticks, which I need that. Uh oh, how do I close this up now? Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. Maybe you could make one and call it. This is kind of giving away my 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 glue book, but not quite. But you could make one um, grandma's handbag. <laughs> yes. And you could put all those things like that little thing that held those little black things your grandma sucked on. And you could have like <laughs> little, little, her compact in there and all the stuff your grandma used to keep in her purse. Yeah. 
Sucrets. She always had sucrets in her purse. Hey, Carol. Yeah. Yeah, and those those um, metal curlers. Yep. With a little red thingamajigger on the end. And some dentine. D yeah. Hey, That's Carol. Right. And what else? Can she see the inside, please? Weather's panties. That's right. I forgot about those. No, it wasn't my grandma didn't suck on no little black things. That was Rosemary's grandma. You're gonna Sin get me Sin. kicked out, Gail. <laughs> There's the inside. Yes, double mint gum. Where's her candy? Oh, she loved her double mint gun. And this one clove. She loved clove uh, gum. Yes. And you and you have got to have some tissues or a hanky. She never did that. That was kind of odd. Cause I know other ladies did. She didn't. And my grandma had that wallet that had that flip out of all those grandchildren in it. Good lord. <laughs> oh. Yes. yes. Thank you, Devin. Candies. Yep. Since in candies. Yep. You could inhale those things. They were, so but I mean, small. if you have, if you have like some of your grandma's stuff or something, that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of those things, um, they don't sell like at a regular store or something, but you can find them still online on vintage candy and vintage this and vintage that. They still manufacture them. It isn't like you're getting old stuff. Yeah, just that you you just don't find they're like novelty things, but they they make they still make them. Yes, it's, Donna, a little a little leather coin purse, and the plastic ones. Remember the pla they gave them away free somewhere. It would have a little little chain on it. Yeah, my and grandma had um a a pocket watch on a chain. Yeah, in her in her pocket. And do you know when my grandma passed away? Because she always tell me should you go get my pocketbook my pocketbook mm -hmm. my my uncle i saw him go in the back bedroom because that's where i was sleeping when i stayed there and he was looking for some important papers and they he had them all in my grandma's pocketbook up in the top <gasps> of the closet <sighs> carol said question off topic topic what's this about the cost of your eggs being expensive oh my goodness we might as well be buy, buying caviar. Oh, it's probably, like what six dollars for eighteen? Yep. Yeah, that's not. I mean, that just is what it is now. Yeah, I remember. Not even maybe a year ago, I was bragging to my mom how cheap the eggs were here because you know they were still cheaper here than in California, and she was paying like two ninety nine, and I was paying like one twenty nine. <laughs> And now that same thing is six dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And we're my husband still wants to give the dogs their little eggs every morning. So I'm still buying those things. Yeah, we do too. We buy 18 at a time. Yeah, we do too. At least every week. At least. Yep. Us too. Two dozen two gallons of milk and 18 eggs. It's like nowadays is case. Should we are we gonna get some steak or are we buying eggs? <laughs> yeah, time to get a couple of chickens, Pam. Gail <laughs> said she's paying three dollars a dozen. Carol's paying two and a half pounds for a dozen. Yeah, so we're like we get a dozen and a half and it's the six bucks. Val said, she, do y'all have a store called Natural Grocers? I don't. No. Sherry went to Costco Sunday and got a carton of $24 for $7.49. That is cheaper. Mm-hmm. And Karen, Car Karen, Carol, it's because there was an outbreak of avian flu here, and they had to kill... No, I shouldn't use the word kill. <laughs> Euthanize. Who knows what they did. But anyway. Same difference. I know. Anyway, they were all adios amigo. 
so that's why everything the eggs are so expensive it's crazy yep francine gets 24 local ooh, local extra large brown eggs for 7.49 yummy yeah yummy that's right 4.99 in canada for a dozen Janet said the store manager also said pasta will be going up. Linda said now there's a shortage of chicken feed as well. Yeah, all the droughts. Man, and I just tore my chicken coop down. <laughs> See? You did not have the foresight. I know I heard, I saw somebody wrote on next door the other day. Um, are we allowed to have like two chickens in our backyard? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Just asking for a friend. Famous last word. You know what? What's a store brand chicken, Gail? She said she could be paying more, but she buys the cheap store brand ones. But do they like have Kroger chickens in the back? <laughs> Piggly I don't, Wiggly chickens in the back? I don't pay like for a brand. No, I don't either. Mm -mm. Oh, those farm fresh or whatever they're called. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the organic. I don't get the, you know, freestyle. <laughs> I know, Annie Mae. <laughs> Two to three I years. I just want an egg. I don't care what life the chicken had. <laughs> just, just give me an egg. Yeah, uh, Purina cat food is, they're selling to Chewy before they're selling to the stores now. So, Uh-oh. APG said, we have, we can have chickens, but they have to be so far from a dwelling and we don't have that distance. Mm. Hola, Pinky. Hola, Pinky. Do you have chickens, Pinky? Oh, I need to buy the cheap ones then. Oh, Lord. One successful baby shower done and one more next Saturday. Good oh. grief. See, that's why I don't that's why I don't participate in social activities. Because <laughs> you don't want to give a shower. I don't want to Betty told me yesterday you're getting bad about not wanting to leave the house. I said, Yeah, you're right. <laughs> What is that? Oh, it looked like a. Yeah, I don't want to, Gail. Volan told. Is she talking to her? Oh, phone again. she was volunteered. Okay, Artie Dar. Yeah, chickens are bad about rats. Our chicken has moved away. They liked it over here. Yeah. They had a good life. <laughs> Our dogs even got used to them. Which was a miracle. They want to chase every bird that flies in. That's true, Francine. They are people. 
people in my town are nuts. Oh, that's crooked. Oh, vo voluntold. Someone volunteered you for something without your consent. Well, that's no fun. No. My boss does that all the time. <laughs> So is he already in town and or he isn't here yet or he's already gone or he that left was last week? That was last week. He left Friday. Oh, okay. All right, APG. I'll hope to see you tomorrow. Is it scuffs tomorrow? Scuffs? Who are we scuffing? She has her scuff. But stuff, stuff from her stuff. I can't remember stuff found in her studio or something where she puts all her stuff in different envelopes and she picks an envelope and makes a collage. That's fun. What are you taking pictures of, Linda? Oh, yeah, Vegas is weird. I'm starting to get cold in here. Good night, Devin. Thanks for coming. Good night, Devin. I got me a couple of new face stencils. Ooh. I want to do something with them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but. Ooh. I'm excited. I think it could be fun. Maybe we'll play with them tomorrow. And I got to go tomorrow and double check because I think I have that fabric next door. Okay. Oh. Scuffs means studio cleanup folder. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense. So when she cleans up her folder, she puts like colors in different folders and then she has them all numbered. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Janice. Cool. Uh-oh. Donna says, it looks like they're going to retire me on February 1st. I can't wait. Yay! What are you going to do? Do you have plans? What you want to do? Or are you just going to chill and enjoy? No, it's just, she's just working on this, Vicky. She just put her, a bunch of scraps together and made these. I'll have to find me a little something to stick this on somewhere. Now next year when everybody goes on vacation, they're going to be sorry you're gone. Who? Donna? Yeah, Donna's work, because they all went on vacation and left her by herself for the end of the year. Oh, that wasn't very nice. That was not nice at all. I really don't want to glue too much because I don't have my glue sticks and I don't like using the wet glue for a lot of these papers because they're so thin. It was supposed to be here today, but oh, I need to glue this down somewhere. Be right over there. Over here. 
I still hadn't figured out who sent you your OCD box of stamps. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. Not a COVID molecule, Adrian. Who does the scuffs? Um, it's um, APG Jamie. She'll be doing one tomorrow at 11 o'clock American time. Central Standard Time. Not CET, but CST. Yeah, yeah she, she cleans up her studio and puts it on these folders. She numbers them, and then she has somebody in the audience pick a number. She grabs that folder. She makes a collage, and then she does a bingo draw at the end of her live and gives it to the winner. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Oh, 10, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. See, I'd have been late, Gail. Thank you. <laughs> I need to set my alarm right now. I'm getting hungry. I ate. I ate, I ate five, early, but not yeah, hard. I ate at five thirty. Betty made fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy and asparagus. I hear little kids. Do you hear little kids? Uh -uh. What are they doing? Screaming. Oh, no. I don't hear anything. Good night, Vicky. Good night. Gail made chili. Too hot here for chili. I think it's supposed to get chili tonight. Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I think we're getting chilly. Oh, it's 56 right now. Gonna get down to 48. I don't think I heard your kids, Pam. Mmm, chicken soup. I feel like having potato soup. Yum, but not with leeks in it. Oh, man. I've never eaten a leek, so I shouldn't talk bad about it. That's right. Ooh, Carol has negative one. Yikes. Good night, yeah. Francine. Thanks for coming. Yes. Nice to meet you. Janice had salmon patties, baked potato with sour cream and chives, and her husband had collards and she had beans. Well, then y'all are just going to be blowing each other right out of the bed. <laughs> Both of you. That nullifies each other. You could have went to Rosemary. She made some pozole a couple weeks ago. Yeah. See, Janice, you can tell him. I'll take your collards and raise you three beans. <laughs> Roseanne says potato soup with tomato sauce. What is that? What? Potato soup with tomato sauce. Maybe that's how she seasons it with tomato sauce. She likes the red tomato soup. I mean, that, then just throw some ground beef in there and you'll have some picadillo. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so 30 is not so bad. Negative one sounds bad. Yeah, that sounds really bad. Pinky made red enchiladas tonight. Did you make your own sauce? Or do you buy your sauce? That's probably a stupid question. She probably makes all her stuff. I asked because the ready-made one, it gives me heartburn. But when I make my own, it's okay. Isn't that crazy? I don't know what they put in there. but Oh, yum. Hey, Brenda. Brenda made 15 bean soup. I tried to get Betty to make some of that the other day. Oh, time. I miss that. See, Richard can't have that. I love that. Ooh, let's see made Fidel. Yummy. Ooh. When that instantly reminds me of my grandmother. She loved making Fidel. And I'm Pinky sure made her sauce because her hubby is spoiled. Oh, okay. Good for him. Who needs that ready-made stuff? It's, most of them's nasty anyway. Unless you don't know the difference, but if you know the difference, you go, ooh, nasty. <laughs> no, he just has he just has weird. His his diabetes is not out of control, but if he eats the wrong thing. It's very much under control. That's why he can't eat anything. <laughs> Fideo is it's almost like um what's well, vermicelli noodles, right? Yeah, it's just a pasta, right? And I then really you you brown them in some oil, mm -hmm. and then you um, put some tomato sauce, mm -hmm. usually, and you can put chicken in it, and I usually just make it with some red sauce for like yeah, my, a quick my lunch. My would put really, uh, she'd put cheese in hers. Not everybody does that. She'd put, um, like Cotijo cheese, or? No, just regular. You know, um, you know, like a, like what? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like like a like a skillet spaghetti, but you brown your you brown your pasta, mm -hmm. and it gives it that rich yeah. taste. You don't, get and that. you can put um, chicken broth in it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, chili rellenos would be good. Deneva! Is she here? Just now. Girl, you missed all the fun. That's right. Next month's caboodle is going to be a... Uh, an overnight bag to carry your undies and art supplies in. <laughs> <laughs> While you're on a train. <laughs> you can't miss that part. That's right. Train riding crafting undie bag. Now, remember, you guys can even go down the steampunk path because that's all that that time era. Good night, Pinky. Good night. Oh, tikka masala. Yeah, but Carol, didn't you have a little mishap in the kitchen just a couple of days ago? Hey, where did everything go? And it came back. Wow, that was weird. Did you forget to put your water in your cabbage or something? <laughs> oh no. She wanted crispy cabbage. You no, know, she was making cabbage in one layer and some other vegetables in another layer and some other vegetables in another layer, but she forgot to put water in the cabbage layer and it all burned up. Oh my goodness. Donna says, no steampunk for me. No. Well, it doesn't have. Two. Nope, not steampunk. All you need is a cereal box, 
and the back of your scrapbook paper pad. Mm-hmm. I don't doubt it. Burnt cabbage. Good cabbage stinks. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine it burnt? Oh, was that um Janice, was that um oh my gosh, my mind just went completely blank. Oh, welcome to my world. Ah. Elvis said, oh, my God, you guys talk a different language when you talk about food. I never realized how country I was till I met you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool, Donna. You can get you a flower bag. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, nothing wrong with good old country food. That's for sure. <laughs> we had this lady. She was our neighbor behind us on the other street. And oh, we had this conversation when she was about 105 years old. And she was talking about the stuff she liked to cook. And, you know, she was an old school cooker. I mean, she did everything with bacon grease and lard and all these things you know so my husband would talk to her and said what is the secret you know you you ate all the food that they tell us we can't eat and um and look how old you are and you ate all that stuff and she goes people need to slow down when they chew they just swallow food you need to chew your food and then your body will accept it <laughs> so, so when my husband would eat something bad he goes i'm chewing it I'm not just swallowing it. I'm going to chew this stuff. Because <laughs> she says, the enzymes get broken down when the saliva gets all over your food. And if you don't do that, then it just goes into your stomach. And I told my husband, I thought there was a lot of stuff in your stomach that was like acid and it breaks everything down. <laughs> was it chicken cacciatore, Janice? <laughs> Donna says she loves that cover. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, botanical. That's what she's going to do. With her. Val said, does anyone have any food rituals? Mine is eating a sausage biscuit from McDonald's every time we have a long work. Oh, yeah, got to have a sausage biscuit from McDonald's. Yeah, those are good. That's what I used to have when I would have to go to the beauty shop with my mama early in the morning. She'd send me down the, down the walkway to get her a Coca-Cola and a little thing of sausage biscuits for us to split. Everybody knows my food ritual. At least you should. Crackers? I only have... Well, no, well, I don't count that one. You know what mine is. Hershey bar? No. <laughs> That's not a ritual. It's when I go somewhere. Oh, when you go somewhere, you go to Sam's for pizza. That's it. That's my only ritual. If I go to Sam's, I'm getting a piece of pizza. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of with chicken and... Tomatoes, chicken cacciatore. Okay, any Mame, tell your mama hey. Yes. I have a ritual when I do have to leave here and go to the office. I stop at McDonald's and get hot cakes and sausage and two white milks. Two white <laughs> as opposed to brown milk, right? I don't want no chocolate milk. Val said, Sam's Pizza is better than Costco, but Costco has better sausages. Mm. Betty used to make me Grand's Biscuits with Jimmy Dean sausage and freeze them so I would have one for work every day. Emphasis on the used to? What well, because I, I quit. Oh, he, yeah. I'm yeah. here. I can, eat, yeah. I can eat whatever I want here. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. What's a want biscuit? Want. Janice. People from across the pond want to know. Biscuits in a can, Carol. Lewis Grizzard, a southern writer, coined the phrase. Yeah, but see, I'm scared of biscuits in a can. What does that mean, biscuits in a can? You know, where you have to pop them on the counter and they oh, pull up in your hand. Me. Ooh, those things are scary for sure. 
I opened the refrigerator one time and some blew up and threw biscuit dough on me everywhere. I was like, it had trauma for days. <sighs> we were picking biscuit dough from different places for weeks. <laughs> Yeah, not fun. <clears throat> no, I don't like the layered ones. I don't let Betty buy those because I don't like them. What layered ones? You know, the flaky layered biscuits. Oh, that kind of layered. Never mind. I love that story of the lady in the car with the can of biscuits. Do we know that story? I don't know. I know when you get my age, you get out of the shower and look in the mirror, you look like a busted can of biscuits. <laughs> I don't like the flaky ones. I do. No, a biscuit, Carol. You know, a buttered biscuit. They don't like call it biscuit, biscuit. gravy. No, they call it a cracker or something. Yeah. Not no cracker. Yeah, cracker means something else over here. <laughs> how cute she is. She's cute. No, you want a biscuit. Biscuit. I miss homemade cinnamon rolls. I used to make some. No, rolls. I don't like cinnamon. Oh, I love cinnamon rolls. Okay, this is a buttered biscuit yeah that is a hot buttered biscuit yum oh hello hello okay i think these might be done and then i'll just put a bunch of leftover stuff in there oh i did want to put some no that fabric's right there already I don't know. Oh, yes, I did hear that story. <laughs> that lady was in her car and she heard a loud boom and she felt the back of her head and thought she had been shot in the head. And she started screaming and it was her her biscuits had blown up in the car and landed on the back <laughs> of her head. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't have a swatch for this one. Uh-oh, Brenda said she went and asked Bo's aunt if she had gotten a package for me. She said, nope. No. Bo was at his mom's and saw her at our mailbox when he told me he had seen her. I went to look. So did you find it? No, biscuits are not hard and you, you dip them in gravy. That's not a scone. The missing caboodle was there. It had been open, but nothing was missing. Okay, so she got it. Oh, good. Starting to worry. Donna makes her own biscuits on the weekends. Homemade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scones are dry. Yeah, Carol's biscuits are our cookies, and our biscuits are closer to her scones, but not exactly. Or put some honey on them. Yeah. Yummy. Mm-hmm. A scone is dry, dry, dry. Ugh. All of a sudden, my notifications are all working and my top chat's working. What the heck? Yeah, what the heck? I had 
haven't gotten any notifications. I haven't heard a sound on my phone since we've been here. That's weird. Where am I going to put it? Oh, maybe back here. Yeah. I'll trim it. Yeah. Yeah. Scones are what you eat when you don't want to answer your guests' questions. What does that mean? I guess your mouth is full. Oh. Who invented French fries? McDonald's. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't think anybody makes a good southern biscuit besides here. Okay. So now all I have to do, if I have the stuff, I have to make the closure with one of those um, uh, one of these. Ooh, that one's in bad shape. I gotta. Oh it. yeah, Elvis Popeyes has good biscuits too. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yes. That's gonna go there somehow. Oh, Ooh, I like the horse one, but it's going the wrong direction. Maybe I just need to... Oh, shoot. All the good parts would come off. Is she adding more fabric packs to wear? She don't have no fabric. Okay, so Donna said fries are first mentioned in 1775 in a Parisian book, and the first recipe for modern French fries is in the French cookbook La Cuisinière Republicaine in 1795. So they are French? I guess. I thought French people say it's not French. Make up your stinking mind. Oh, Val wants to know if you're adding any more of your dyed fabric to your Etsy shop. Uh, next month, I think I have a pack left of the... Uh, I'm not sure. I think I have one of the mulberry ones in there. I'm not sure. I think I have one left. And then next month I'm gonna do um, matter, so we'll I'll put that in next month. No, French fries are not Republicans. Origin of French fries was Belgium. Thought that was waffles. <laughs> yeah, KFC does suck. I don't like that. What am I going to... Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I need to figure out where that's going to go. Then... Oh, it does fit. Hello. There you go. I just have to trim that little bit off. Churches has sweet stuff on top of their biscuits, Val. Ooh. Well, if it's honey, I like honey on biscuits. Yeah, I think it is. Gail says she gets a kick out of the British calling fries, chips, and chips crisps. Yeah. Their chips are fat cut potatoes. Those are french fries.
Ooh, Brenda says, Bo makes good biscuits. Two ingredients, self-rising flour and heavy whipping cream. After he mixes it, he lets it rest. Lightly rolls and cuts out the biscuits. They rise up high, soft, but don't crumble. We had a Roy Rogers, too. Way back in the day. Yeah, KFC coleslaw is good, but their chicken's not. We used to have Alfie's Fish and Chip Restaurant. Never heard of that one. Oh, yeah. You would go and you would get um, fried fish and it would have all the, the batter chips in it and french fries. And then you would put, whoa, 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 whoa. And then you would put um, <laughs> the vinegar. Malted vinegar. Oh, I love that. We had one. I can't remember what it was called. Oh, it's not here no more. What was it called? I'm trying to think. Oh, no. Welcome back, Pinky. Her sister had an emergency, but it was a haunted phone. I think I helped her exercise the phone demons. <laughs> okay, I'm going to glue that right there. No, it was called Alfie's. Where did that go? Uh oh. Fish and chips and scraps. Yeah, that's what it is, probably. Okay, so. That's for when you're hungry, Gail. Baked beans on toast. That's good. I never had that. I like baked beans on a hot dog. Yeah, I've had that. That's good. Yeah, Leslie, you remember Alfie's? They were right next to Roy Rogers over on 45 and Airline. Is Leslie still in Vegas? No, oh, Linda, Linda. Linda is. I get my people confused here. Okay, so I'll get some of that ribbon. I have to let this completely dry, though. So that'll go on there. Everything weird is happening with electronics right now. Planes can't fly. I can't get to live chat. <laughs> Leslie keeps turning from a morphing from a butterfly to a dog. That is weird. <laughs> okay, let me. I don't think I have. Oh, yeah, I do. Well, just because Brenda's hubby makes them don't mean your hubby has to make them, Elvis. You can make them. My stepmom, she had this huge, I'm talking about a giant, um, Tupperware bowl in her pantry because my daddy always had to have a giant walk-in pantry and it had a lid on it and it had flour in it and she would bring it out and she would be standing there talking at the counter and she had her she had like a little well in the middle of the flour and she would just be dropping stuff and doing her fingers and the next thing I knew there was like the most precious biscuits I ever tasted <laughs> coming out of the oven and then she'd put that thing of flour back. She didn't measure nothing. She just. My, that was the kind of cook my grandmother was. Too. Oh, my God. I mean, that's why I never was able to cook anything she cooked. Because she never measured anything. It was all. She says it's all by feel. <laughs> yeah, because she did. She was talking, not even paying attention. And her little fingers were just working mm. in that flour. And then she'd put the flour bowl back up. And the next morning, she'd pull it back out and do the same thing. Oh, no. Elvis doesn't cook. Oh, no. Donna keeps getting calls. Those must be for... Give them Rosemary's phone number. Uh-oh. She says she keeps getting calls from Chinese people, and they won't stop talking, so she just hangs up. Chinese people? She said, weird thing is that it shows people I know that are on the phone. Oh. Uh, 
No, Carol, we ain't eating no weird Yorkshire pudding either. We put bananas in our pudding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. That looks pretty good. That looks like some custard. Mm, I like custard. Oh, that looks real good. I don't know if that's what she's talking about, but they look real good. Yorkshire pudding. A tender and lightly chewy Yorkshire pudding that rises tall. What's in it? Better not be blood. No, no blood. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Yorkshire puddings are served with beef drippings and gravy. Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> but what is, what's the cream in the middle? I don't even know. Let me see. Plain flour, eggs, and milk. Cream. Yeah, it's showing cream in the middle. Yorkshire pudding's like a popover. All right, Elvis. Brenda said, look on YouTube for two ingredient biscuits. That's where you found them. It was on YouTube about three weeks ago. Yorkshire, yeah, Yorkshires are doggies. I don't know. It shows a cream in them. I must be looking at a bad recipe. No, it's not horseradish. It's cream. That's me too, Artie Dar. I love to cook, but I hate to clean up the mess. You see that? That cream in that oh, yogurt? Yeah, that looks like cream for sure. Yeah. Or is it raw dough? No, it's it's cooked and it's got cream in the middle. Oh. No cream in the middle, just soft. Well, they're showing. See, it's got some kind of cream. Every picture I looked at had cream in it. See? She says it's just the dough. Oh, I it's don't like know. Raw dough. Oh, what do we know? We're just Americans. Lisa said it's Yorkshire. Leah said she makes the two ingredient biscuits. The original is from America's Test Kitchen. No cream in the middle. Huh. No, this is a cream. And then I'll put my ribbon through there. I don't know if it's long enough. Let's see what we got in here. I might have to put two together. So you call a dinner row pudding. I've had them. Um, I had the strawberry one, um, Val, and they're good. Those cheesecake pies from Popeyes, yes, they're good. Just like their chicken sandwich. Somebody gonna kill you for a chicken sandwich. 
<laughs> Gail, we don't speak nowhere near the same language. We done figured that out with the culottes and the culottes and the <laughs> culottes. That's weird though. It looks like a it looks like a croissanty dinner row to me, but it's called pudding. Bangers and mash. Was to fill you up if you didn't have a big roast if you were poor. Well that's true. But I'd rather have gravy and bread than roast. I like the roast gravy. Yeah, they do. Put some cheese in that pudding hoe. Yeah, bangers and mash sounds good. But don't you put the the meat in the middle of there and eat it? That's a kolache. Or it is in Texas. Oh, Sherry said, I need to watch the Great British Baking Show and I will learn all the English. Stuff. I used to watch those, those two portly women that, those English women that cooked, the sisters or something. There you go, Val. Put your dinner in the hoe. Is that what it was called, Two Fat Ladies? Oh, that's what it is in Arkansas, too. What? What I said was in Texas. <laughs> I forgot her. I'm going to put her in there somewhere. My mama makes mince meat cookies, and I won't eat them because I don't know what that is. <laughs> it comes in a in a little box. Minced meat in a cookie. I think it's like datey stuff, and I don't like dates. Yeah, they were. I think they did too, Sherry. I used to watch a galloping gourmet. He was British, wasn't he? I think so. I loved him. Graham Kerr, was that his name? Yeah. He's still on YouTube. Well, he, he was, was a couple months ago. He was funny. Oh, they weren't sisters. Man, Donna Wikipedia Wardlaw tonight. <laughs> Two Fat Ladies was a British cooking program starring Jennifer Patterson and Clarissa Dixon Wright. It originally ran for four series, 24 episodes from 9th of October of 96 to the 28th of September 1999. <clears throat> I just found out today that um that it was a hoax that Tina Turner had died. I thought she was dead. <laughs> I didn't hear she died. I did. It was in all, it was everywhere. Um and uh and then I read today that it was all a hoax. She's alive and well. So Riri said that today she bought some ground flaxseed. She heard of, but hadn't tried it as an egg substitute in baking for eggs. Yep. One tablespoon of flax meal plus three tablespoons of water. Let set for five minutes and add it to your recipe. 
Yeah, I just read that not too long ago and I was looking for keto stuff. So a lot of people that are really, you know, hardcore vegetarians or can't tolerate eggs, that's what they use. But it's pretty interesting. Oh, Gail said that's vegan. Yeah. Oh, she's weird. She looks like she might eat some Yorkshire pudding. Mm-hmm. I do believe. And she'll probably dip her biscuit in her tea. <laughs> Oh, I loved Are You Being Served? In the haberdashery. Mrs. Slocum. I never could get into Downton Abbey. I tried to watch it. I don't know how many times I couldn't get into it. I think I've seen episode one like six times. Oh my goodness. This seems like it'd be some right up your alley too. Oh. All creatures great and small. I don't know, but they have some kind of weirdness of some dude that looks like a giant Teletubby. I can't remember. I think Carol did. <laughs> it's like a wobble or a wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> a weeble wobble? No, a womble or something. Oh, yeah, Benny Hill. That was funny. do 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 Monty Python, a womble, yeah. My husband loves Monty Python. Yeah, it's different. Totally different sense of humor. Yeah. So much into the show as he was their movies. He liked their movies. That's more comedy for the higher intelligence. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely have to catch their jokes. They're not obvious. Yeah. Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Look at Gail. Monty Python was better when you were high. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Renee. Call the midwife. Peaky Blinders. Doc Martin. Downton Abbey. There you go. Oh, there's a lady at work and she is so into the British... Um, mystery, all of those shows that she is like, sits at her desk all day long while she's working with, I think she got the BBC subscription or something like that and just uh -huh. watch all the time. Yeah, you can get that on several channels, right? Even YouTube. You, you can subscribe just to the British ones. Yeah, I think on YouTube TV I have that channel that you were talking about that Richard likes the um the sign um oh the one that y'all subscribe to I can't remember 
not Discovery TV, but um, don't ask me. I can't keep up. I can't remember. You told me. I'd never heard yeah. of it. And then I found it. And then she found it. What was the UK comedy show where the man dressed up like a woman? Yes, and she was always going to the bathroom and stuff, and they were always in the kitchen. And she had on that, that curly wig and glasses. What was that show? Mrs. Brown's Boys. Yes. Thank you. That's it, Donna. Mrs. Brown's Boys. Artie Dar said movie with Tom Hanks. <laughs> what does that mean? Forrest Gump. Yeah, Brit Box. That's what she watches. Brit Box. Oh, that was um, some like it hot, Artie Dar, with Tony Curtis and Marilyn Monroe. Wow, here's a train story for you. A gunshot victim escapes fiery car wreck at train track. Man, that sounds like a freaking, what do you call it, a trifecta? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy was meant to live. So Elvis said, Susan, the reason I don't cook, picture, Sicily, 1991. I was frying chicken, went to the basement only to return and find billowing smoke flow from the kitchen through family room down the hall to bedroom so lived in a hotel with son for three weeks as my home was repaired very hard to go back into the kitchen for a long time i was burnt but we survived and home was repaired i developed ptsd hey no that that makes wow. sense. please stay out of the kitchen elvis yes <laughs> You just stick to them TV dinners. That's right. Microwave. Nuke everything. Give your husband that two-ingredient two biscuit recipe. And... Okay, I think this one's done. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I'll wrap it around later. This is still drying back here. Oh, I got this back here, too. Oh, fabric. So I'll let that dry, and then this one, I think it's ready to glue down. Peaky said, I chopped my finger off, but I still cook, but not breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stick your hand in the blender. Oh, my God. Donna loves it. Carol said, pretty. Ah, oh, that was so, that was, that was, that was a day. That was a day. And that's how she got her nickname. That's how she learned that her name was meant to be Pinky. Elva said, my husband is a good man and a great cook, and I'm great. Uh-oh, I don't have any ribbon for this. I'm going to have to maybe use some of this. Um, Leah said, beautiful. Deneva said, looks great. Thank is you. Les is Leslie still morphing? <laughs> Poor Leslie. Poor thing is right. Oh, there she is. Oh my God, here I go again in disguise. I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. She's back to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's a dog. Can't go wrong with a dog. <laughs> Oh, but all of a sudden, she turns from that beautiful butterfly into that dog. <laughs> That's weird, Leslie. 
I thought she was singing in the rain earlier because I've seen in the rain changed her name to something like YouTube user or something. Yeah, it's a cute dog. There you go. A different metamorphosis. There's your journaling idea. Just know I can't take you seriously when I look up there and see you talking like a dog. <laughs> oh no, Kellyanne was watching while doing needlework, fell asleep, and now she can't find her needle. Don't move. Oh no. Speaking of dogs, where are yours? I know they've been quiet because the neighbor must be in the house. Are you talking to me? No. She was oh, talking about my dogs. Oh. I go, what? What neighbor? <laughs> they were going crazy a while ago, but that was at right after dinner. I hadn't seen Jack. He must be curled up sleeping somewhere. Busta gets all nervous with these storms that came through. We had bad storms last night. Again? Yeah. And those storms, um, once they got to the east side of the state everyone over there was on tornado watch whoa yeah but he gets um it isn't like he's like shaken to death or anything like that when the storms come but he definitely um you know he'll he'll get underneath something or get real close to us and and um hey jane and lay low you know and then when it's over He's so excited. He comes over and he starts like going like this, you know, hitting us like it's over. It's over. It's over. I'm okay now. <laughs> Crazy little guy. We go, oh, is it gone now? And then he starts hopping around and he's all happy. Yeah, I do that when a bad storm's over too. <laughs> I hate bad storms. Okay, so. I think what I'll do with this one. And then I will be done. I'll be so excited. Oh, and I can get ready for next month without worrying about anything. Yeah, now we gotta go eat some cereal and yeah. Donna Look was looking for her dog the other night and found her in the laundry basket in the bedroom. <laughs> I know that's why I looked over at Betty sitting in her chair a while ago and I said it's Charlie laying on the basket of clothes and she said it's the dog blankets he's fine I was like okay <laughs> <laughs> he knew it was his right it's your problem it's mine <laughs> Jane said her cat sleeps in the bathroom sink <laughs> Oh, I've seen pictures. People post pictures of their cat doing that. Look. And drinking out of the faucet. And, yeah. Uh, and we don't, Jack ain't allowed to climb on nothing. My dogs don't climb on nothing either. Or they're not supposed to anyway. Roxy only did it those two times and that was it. She never got on the couch again. I mean, she's got like around five, six pillows around the house to choose from. There's only three dogs, so <laughs> there's never a loss for a place to lay down, that's for sure. Oh, no, I would hate to be sitting on the toilet and get struck by a lightning gale. Where is that at? Oh, my. I think they need to ground their house a little better. I have pecs, so I don't have to worry about it. There you go. Val's got a stray in a box outside her French doors with an old electric blanket. Yeah, but I think you give your cat catnip and stick it on that running wheel. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true, Gail.
That's weird. I didn't think cats like to get wet. Yeah, you would think. Good night, Donna. Good night. Uh oh, it's time, Susan. Yes, it is. It's time to say good night, people. I know Betty came to bed at three o'clock this morning and woke me up. I was like, Are you kidding me? <laughs> you couldn't have stayed in there one more hour. <laughs> so I rolled over, couldn't go to sleep. So I got my phone and finally I just got up about 10 after three and I was like, Screw it. I turned the coffee on. Oh my goodness. You must be like, dead no because i went to bed at seven o'clock last night oh my goodness and what are you complaining about i know i missed dinner <laughs> did you have it for breakfast no i didn't have breakfast and i didn't have lunch <gasps> my what's goodness. good on netflix right now um i don't know crown i thought you said you didn't like it the second one i mean this one this season well i haven't tried again but i will watch it oh, okay because i have to know what happens all right i've been watching all the all the the hairy documentaries oh, okay good night laurel good night she says, thank you for keeping me company. Oh. You are quite welcome. Glad you came. We'll be here tomorrow if you're lonely. 4 a.m. for Carol. Guess she better get some sleep. Good night. Good night, Marie. I mean, Carol. I tried to watch that, Val, but inventing Anna. I've got to do something down in here. Forgot that was all torn. It was the only one I had, so I didn't have a choice. That's all right. Let's see. What am I going to put on there? Okay, ladies, we're going to let you go. Susan's got to go to bed. You guys go on the hunt for the stuff that you need. I'm going to finish this up. And we will see you guys tomorrow. We'll be here. We'll be here. Where will you be? I don't know. If you're here, we'll see you. Thanks, guys. All right. Good night. Till tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night.